Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be diving into a topic that is making waves across Canada, and the subject is cloned meat. Yes, you heard that right. Cloned meat could be hitting the Canadian grocery store shelves or freezer, fridge section, whatever you want to call it, and you might not even know that you're buying it. So let's break it down. Hi everybody and welcome to Nature's Path to Wellness. My name is Wendy and I am a natural nutrition clinical practitioner. We're here today to talk about cloned meat and what exactly is cloned meat? You probably remember hearing way back when about Dolly the sheep and some of the first cloning experiments that we had back in the day. So what exactly is clone meat? When it comes to clone meat, we're talking about meat that comes from animals created from a process called somatic cell nuclear transfer, otherwise known as SCNT. And essentially, scientists take the DNA from a prized cow, goat, sheep, whatever you have, and clone it to produce other identical traits in another animal. And so the method involves replacing the nucleus of an unfertilized egg with the nucleus of a non-reproductive cell from another animal to form an embryo. And then that embryo is implanted into a surrogate. So something like surrogacy for humans, but just in a little bit slightly different process. Health Canada reports that meat from healthy cloned animals is not any different from traditionally produced animals and that there are zero health concerns with consuming cloned animal meat and cloned animal products. So I wanted just to add a little bit of information to this video. As I was doing the editing of this video, something sort of highlighted itself to me, and that is that when Health Canada was doing and reviewing their policy, and they're working on the policy for the sale of cloned meat and not having the packages marked, they did state here in this um, article that after review of all available information, the scientific opinion concludes that foods derived from healthy cattle and swine clones and their offspring are as safe as foods from traditionally bred animals. The Canadian scientific opinion agrees with those published by the United States Food and Drug Administration 2008, the European Food Safety Authority 2008, Japan Food Safety Commission 2009, and New Zealand's Food Safety Authority 2010. But interestingly enough, in 2015, the European Union moved to ban the practice of cloning farm animals as well as the practice of selling cloned meat products and animal products. So the interesting thing about this as well is that the European Union, of course, with the trade agreements, do bring in animal products from Canada and the US and other countries. And so it's going to be interesting to see how that plays out if Canada does move to towards this policy of marketing animal products that haven't been marked as cloned animal products or products um, derived from clone animals. And so what will happen with the European Union since they've banned these products and since they've banned the practice, will they then discontinue trade with countries like Canada and the United States since we are producing now and looking to be producing products that are not marked stating that these are cloned animal products? With the rules that are currently in place, animal clones and any offspring are subject to processing and import assessment requirements. So there's some scrutiny that they have to go through the products that are produced from this way. But under the new proposed policies, these will be considered novel foods. And so they won't have the requirements that they've had up until now. And so I'll put a link in the description below to explain exactly what novel foods are a little bit deeper. But And so you can read for yourself, but I'll just give you a quick review of some of the highlights. A novel food, according to Health Canada, simply put, novel foods are food products that are new or changed compared to existing foods. 
A novel food is a substance, uh, including microorganisms that are small living things that you need a microscope to see, and they don't yet have a history of safe use as food. A food that's been manufactured, prepared, preserved, or packaged by a process that has not been previously used for that food and causes food to undergo a major change. A food that comes from a plant, animal, or microorganism that has been genetically modified so that the plant, animal, or microorganism shows characteristics that it didn't before, doesn't show characteristics that it did before, or has one or more characteristic that no longer falls within the expected range. So that is, of course, the definition according to Health Canada. And again, I'll link um, that information in the description below. According to the National Human Genome Research Institute, many times cloned animals don't go on to develop properly and have issues, birth size issues, defects, and lifespan issues. So, you know, if I have to think about it, I'm not exactly sure what else to expect when we're missing with God's perfect design. And so Health Canada has deemed this cloned meat as safe, meaning it can be regulated just like other traditional meat that's been on the market for years. But here's the real kicker. There's actually no required labeling according to these new proposals. And so basically you'll go into the grocery store and purchase a package of meat and it won't say, you know, that it's been cloned. It's just going to look like any other meat. I'm assuming it's going to look like any other meat. I guess that's the idea. But there will be no other labeling to tell you that that's what you're purchasing. So that is really kind of concerning sip of green tea decaffeinated of course because it's after three but it's keeping me going nonetheless so the interesting thing is that species such as goat and sheep will actually still be required to have this labeling so the distinction here is that they're talking about doing other products so other meat or animal products but goats and sheep will be required to still be labeled these other ones won't and I'm not even sure if I understand why they would choose one particular type to be labeled and the other not. And that's a good question. Back in 2023, Health Canada actually created an interim policy as it relates to the sale of cloned animal products. And so at that time, with consultations of various people, so like, you know, farmers that were producing these animals and, and, and other agencies that were involved, they decided at that time that the offspring from these cloned animals is just as safe as the meat and other products that come from traditionally reproduced animals. And so they felt that they should be reg regulated just in the same manner. So, you know, there was no sort of distinction in regulations. And so understandably, this has actually sparked a huge mix of reactions. I don't know about you. I don't regularly consume meat and very rarely do, but if I'm going to the grocery store, I definitely want to know what type of meat that I'm purchasing. How about you? I'd kind of be curious to know what you think about this. So be sure to put a comment in the comment section below and let me know what you think. Some people are actually excited about the potential for, you know, because they take the highest sort of quality in amongst their herd when they're doing these types of things and then clone these animals. So people are looking for these high quality features and, um, you know, that kind of thing when they're looking at the meat they're thinking this is going to be a higher quality thing and I mean perhaps that is true but a lot of other people are really concerned about the transparency and possibly long-term health impacts as it relates to these cloned animal products. I'm not sure why, but Health Canada has been increasingly against what I would call informed consent, where it relates to products and things that are going to actually impact our health, potentially, and our well-being. When it comes to these cloned animal products, what exactly can we do, right? Do we just accept that. There is actually going to be some information that is taken from the public. Health Canada is going to be reviewing um, comments from people, concerns that are being raised. And so there is going to actually be a link that's going to be posted in the description of this video below that you can actually go and have your say if you're in Canada and you're concerned about buying these meats from cloned animals or other animal products from cloned animals. So again, I'd be curious to know what your thoughts are. 
So be sure to leave a comment in the comment section below letting me know what your thoughts are as it relates to the clone meat and cloned animal products in general. And if you've liked this video, do consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, do subscribe to Nature's Path to Wellness where your journey to lifelong health begins. And I do look forward to seeing you here again next time. Take care.